Hey there everybody, Arlos here from Ice Games, bringing you episode 10 of my Star Wars The Old Republic uh, Smuggler Let's Play with uh, Echo Kerr here, our little smuggler here, getting excited to see uh, kind of where uh, this this whole storyline goes. So we're currently on Tatooine. Um, I know at the end of the last episode I mentioned how I was going to do some leveling up. Unfortunately, was not able to do that. So hopefully this still goes all right. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we got dry run as a mission we're currently on. So we need to requ recover uh, knock Grand's treasure. Uh, we're still working on that. So we need to, to, to get it. We need a special sensor computer owned by a reclusive crime lord uh, that's on Tatooine. He's arranged to meet with uh, Tukri, one of his lieutenants, to work out a deal. So we're going to speak with Tukri at the cantina at the outpost. The Northern uh, Junlen Waste. So that's what we're going to be doing now. Got ourselves uh, Bodar, our new uh, Wookiee companion. And I was going to check to see... Oh, here we go. Large influence gain. No, no. Uh, large. Oh, a bunch of large. Yeah. Large. Large. Uh, moderate. Sure, let's give you the moderates too. Just to make sure we get you some. We up to now with you five okay that's yeah, good enough for now all right so let's head on in here uh, it's gonna go here because we're gonna be heading here someone attacking me no okay someone has shot someone but hey we're on Tatooine so uh that's gonna happen thank for anchor head oh gosh all right. Well, definitely does not seem the nice. Well, look, doesn't seem like the nicest place, but definitely a place you'd find a smuggler like us. All right. So it's, where are you? There you are. Anchorhead speeder. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Do, 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 do. I love like the. I mean. It's nice because we know, you know, Tatooine's going to be this huge desert planet. So it's nice to kind of see the scale of it, but to run around it all is just too much sometimes. Even when we get to, like, the Dune Sea um, over here, it's just so massive. Oh, you got uh, the Jawa sand crawlers. A little bit of a different design than the uh, original Star Wars. Just kind of nice. You see, similar yet different. Apparently the Jawas had more change in like 3,000 years than almost any other race. All right, Let's see where we're going. Where are we going? We're going down? We're going down. There we go. Rocket boost. And this must be the cantina here. Good, good. Go meet our contact. There you are in the corner. Ah, Reach's business partner, here at last. Impressive. I'm honored she felt the need to make a show of strength. She must think very highly of me. <laughs> he smells like bad luck. If you smell anything else, let me know. Everything in here smells ba like bad luck. And I'm sorry to sausage. say this, but you've come at a bad time to do business. Things are tense. You promised that sensor computer, and you're going to deliver it. Honoring my promise is difficult under such dangerous conditions. Hey, pretty face. You don't belong here. I'm not looking for any trouble. Then you definitely don't belong here. Excuse me, but I suddenly feel an urge to put away all the breakable things. I'm only a weary <laughs> traveler. There's plenty of room here for both of us, my friend. You're not my friend, got it? Leave the girl alone if you know what's good for you. What are you? Some kind of human lover? But a fool! You want to leave me alone. You want to stop noticing me. You're really starting to annoy me. Men? Let's show pretty face what we do 
with people who annoy me. If you want to pick a fight, why not pick me? I like your style. Yeah. You got a big mouth. I'm gonna enjoy shutting it. Men, kill them both! Oh, she's a Jedi. I, I thought she was just like pretending to be, but maybe she actually is a Jedi. Okay. Damn, boy. I think it's friend here. There we go. Got his comms buddy. There we go. That was easy enough. All right, let's talk to her. I wish this hadn't ended in violence, but it was brave of you to intervene. What can I say? I'm a sucker for a beautiful woman. You acted based on your perception of my physical appearance? That makes no sense. My name is Nariel Prydance. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm looking for Vavarone Zare, an agent of evil and servant of the Sith Empire. Have you heard of her? Whoever Zare is, I bet she's not nearly as gorgeous as you. Zare is a being of vast darkness, and a grave threat to the galaxy. I hear she's taken an interest in the local underworld, so I came to observe these criminals and gain information. Stick with me, sweetheart. I'll find the Zare before sundown. That's kind, but I can't place you in harm's way. I sense you're destined for greater things than consorting with common criminals. I must continue my search for Vavarone Zare. May the Force be with you. Yeah, hopefully we run into her again. All right, so let's uh, again go talk to our contact. Oh, and I really wish we could use these like to actually play, uh, like the, the the I can't remember the name of the chess game or Pizak here. I wish we could play those games. I thought she'd never leave. Look at this mess. Our gang has enough problems without Jedi chasing Sith through our territory. You see this expression on my face? It's called apathy. I'm not interested. You should be. It affects your business too. Our organization is under attack by a gang of Geonosians. Last week they took over our spice warehouse. Killed everyone, including a fellow lieutenant who had the only way of contacting Diago. I'm sure a clever boy like you has lots of friends. That's beside the point. The Geonosians have what we need. Diago hates it when we bother him. He got so angry, he killed a crate dragon. Gave us lieutenants one fang to share. Only the lieutenant with the crate dragon fang can speak to Diago. And you helped kill the men I was sending to get it. This is Tatooine. There's no shortage of scum for hire. I don't trust anyone else. If you want your sensor computer, get me that crate dragon fang. If you waste my time, I'm gonna be upset. My deceased associate kept the fang at the spice warehouse. Place is crawling with Geonosians. Won't be easy. Discouraging those Geonosians from sticking around will give us leverage with the boss. Just a suggestion. I'm heading for Diago's summer palace at these coordinates. Meet me there with the great dragon fang. All right, let's go get this fang. Equip that. And uh, recover the, the dragon tooth. Watch it not actually be a dragon tooth. Okay, but where are we supposed to be headed to? Ooh. He's like, you killed the people I was supposed to send. Well, you picked jerks. They're picking on a little Jedi. Although she probably could have taken care of herself. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's uh, hop on a mount here. And see how this goes. Oh boy, oh boy. So much sand everywhere. <laughs> oh, sorry, I almost had a little sneeze there. Oh, you wanna fight. Oh, 
Oops, it wiggled. There it is. A bit of a sneezing fit, and uh, combat was a good way to kind of mute my mic for a second there. But uh, here we go, taking out a distressed will. Or distressed will. Okay. Well, that's done. Let's hop on our mount again. Which mount did we get this time? Haha, -ha, this one. Alright, we're going around this settlement. Don't have to worry about that. There we go. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, um... Uh, we're heading for this one over here. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense! Ooh, maybe I should um, get a crafting profession because that. Whoop! Blah, 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 my throat. Um, that might actually. Oh, I guess it's this way. Um, that might actually help me uh, uh, level up a little bit quicker too. I didn't think about that. Now that I've got, well, I mean, I got uh, two extra companions that I can send on missions all the time. Whoop! Two notions, one fight. Oh gosh, they're all level 26. Let's let's see if we can survive this. See, I'm, I'm more worried about random combat like this than I am story missions, and I think you can handle almost all the story missions. It's the uh, random outside of combat. Actually, we're gonna level up. Uh, no, you're you're a champion. So what are you guys gonna skirt? Eh, you know what? Let's take these guys out. There we go. Level up. Level 22, I think. Level 23, we get to uh, uh, do some upgrades. So next level. Okay, I'm feeling okay with taking these guys down. All right, let's head inside. Uh -huh. Maybe I could hide behind that. Nope. Oh, we're gonna bonus object to take out Geo Notion forces here. Damage over time. Yeah, see, even though these are 26. Oh, I mean, I guess I did level up to the level 22. Uh, but it's gonna be a little bit easier to take these guys down. I don't really know what you were doing there. Odar, why are you running to me? The healing ability you have, maybe. Alright, that's 4 to 24. Make sure we get this bonus objective finished. Knock uh, her down again. Oh. I was expecting this one to run, run towards me, but it didn't. You didn't follow the plan. I've always wondered, like, <laughs> Geonosians on Tatooine, was that a thing in, like, the expanded lore or something? Or is it just a, an excuse for them to get Geonosians in this game? I've always kind of wondered that. I don't remember reading any, like, even expanded stuff talking about Geonosians on Tatooine ever. But, I mean, there's so much Star Wars lore. Especially, like, when this was out, like, Legends and stuff like that. You never know. Okay, that's 
29 out of 25. To 11 out of 25. My laser target uh, came up right before I hit that ambush there. Take down, there we go, 12. Win another purple thingy. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? You coming? We're gonna fight? There we go. 17. Almost there. for taking out enemies that are higher level. That that would be a good way to balance it. Like, say you're taking out an enemy that's like four or five levels ahead of you, you get like double, triple the experience. Actually, maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Maybe that, maybe that is a thing. Okay, so I only need five more. Doing okay here, the Bodar. Not gonna lie, I was a little worried, but... Uh, Handling pretty well here. Only three levels ahead of us. So. Hey, how much experience did we get from the beginning? Let's say. Oh, it should say over here, actually. Uh, 2800? But we need like. 78,000. Oh, okay. That's actually not so bad. Okay. How many need. I need two more to take out. Conveniently, there's oh, there's gonna be a, a couple of tougher enemies. In there. Where am I supposed to be going, anyway? Should be going up the stairs. Over time on you. Go back to the first one. Them off here. Ambush. Take down. Yeah, there we go. Bug hunt completed. Get some extra credits, get some extra uh, experience. Stuff for our personal conquest. And then let's head up here. All right, we got ourselves a table. Okay, desk. Hopefully the well, I'm pleased the Diago desk. finally responded to my provocation. I was expecting a bit more. <laughs> she makes Is my fur itch. Absurd little trophy. The reason Diago sent you. I'm here on my own business, lady. You ran past the spice storehouses to fetch a bone. Interesting business. My name is Vavaron Zare. I'm interested in discussing a bargain with Diago Hickson. I'm trying to get a meeting with Diago myself. Mm, yes. It's easier to get an appointment with the Dark Council. I've been prodding Diago for weeks. Raid a business here, kill a lieutenant there. It's like he hasn't noticed. I thought sending the Geonosians to raid this operation would surely draw him out. But all I've got is you. Get to the point. I'm seeking a small crimson box. One curio of many in Diago's personal collection. I'll give him whatever he wants for the box. But I need to arrange a meeting. Can you do that? People don't go to war over empty boxes. 
The contents are irrelevant. For your assistance, you'll receive a gift few beings ever enjoy. The pleasure of my company. You'll be the only member of your species who experiences me as something besides a master. I offer the chance of a lifetime. All I ask is that you arrange a meeting for me with Diago. We can work something out. How do I contact you? I scanned your hollow frequency. I'll contact you. Don't take too long arranging things, or I'll have to employ more aggressive means of getting Diago's attention. <laughs> Jedi and Sith before sundown. Destruction before sunrise. Relax. Everything's gonna be alright. <laughs> this ends in violence. I can already smell it. Oh boy. Well, looks like we've... Yeah, we've, we've met the Jedi and, uh... Or, sorry, the Sith and the Jedi hunting that Sith. Okay. So let's head back and speak with, uh, Tariq. Actually, I should be able to just teleport there now. Hopefully. 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 There we go. This is gonna, this is gonna get interesting, that's for sure. Okay, so let's, uh, back into town here. With our mount, which is Whoop. And jetpack. I like the jetpack one. Is that not? Oh, gosh. We need not go the right way at all. Oh, darn. Oh, well. We need to go here, which I believe actually is this way. I always get so lost. Tatooine is the city or the planet I get lost on the most. I should, I should know the map. <laughs> How it works by now, but I still get so lost. Come at me, creatures. Thankfully, you guys don't carry blasters, so uh, you're not going to catch up to me. So I keep opening up my map. I just want to make sure I'm heading in the right direction. The mini-map only goes so far, and with Tatooine being so massive, you don't get a chance to... Uh... That, okay, so... The CM peoples. They have blasters. Well, they might actually... Ooh, they did knock me off. Okay, sand people bolters. Thank you. And honestly, just really hope we're going the right way. There's a chance I'm not. Ah, I think I did. Haha. -ha. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this game sometimes. Okay. Oh, I could have traveled directly here. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Okay. I think this is just this way now. Okay, so I could have just traveled there. Okay. I wonder if I could have. I could have. From where I was. Okay. Not the end of the world. Keep going this way. We'll be fine. And I'm surprised I never did add pod racing to this game. I guess we have swoop racing. I don't think there's a track on Tatooine for swoop racing, is there? Oops, there we go. Sand people. There we go. That sand people. Hello, Bantha. Oh, man, that's so important. Uh, is that up? Must be up, right? Nope, that's red, so it's not that way. That is a Jedi Counselor phase. There we go. Smuggler phase, right here. Sweet, sweet green glow. Alright, let's head inside. No one's trying to kill me yet. That's always a good sign. Always a good sign. Oh, it's just a smuggler like area smuggler pal apparently it's a smuggler palace that's what that's what we're in smuggler pal palace. let me it's run by a hut oh no huts in sight interesting okay ah the crate dragon fang i'm in perfect condition 
I'm deeply impressed with how you handled those Geonosians, Captain. Remember that Sith we heard about? She controls the Geonosians, and she wants to meet Diago. The Sith is behind the attacks on our operation? How do you know? For a being of pure evil, she was surprisingly forthcoming. Typical Sith. Start negotiations by blasting everything in sight. Let's hope that Jedi from my club puts the Sith out of our misery. We're going to an underground water well the natives call the Light Spring. The boss turned it into his private retreat. Now that we have the Fang, he'll let us into... Oh! What now? Kukri, the palace is under attack! Imperial commandos! They're tearing us apart, breaching the security doors! Diago will be furious if this palace falls to the Empire. Only one thing to do. Leave the Imperials and meet me at the Light Spring. You're gonna leave me to clean this up? I'm not abandoning you. I just don't want to die. <laughs> Seems like a nice guy. See you at the Light Spring. Oh, man. Alright, let's take out these Imperial Commandos. Definitely not who I thought I'd be fighting here, that's for sure. Wait. Use the security door. One pending. Let's get those new pants on. Bloop. New pants. Just what I always wanted. Hello again. I was afraid you might have forgotten our agreement, so I sent some friends to jog your memory. I just shot a few of your pals. Hope you don't mind. They weren't that good friends. You promised to arrange a meeting for me with Diago. I want it. Now. Diago's at a place called the Light Spring. I'll send you the coordinates. See? That wasn't so hard. I just sent the all-clear signal to my soldiers. They're retreating as we speak. Oh. Well, perhaps not. What's the matter? They can't find the exit? Not exactly. Apparently, little Nerio has decided to poke her lightsaber where it doesn't belong. She's killing my soldiers at the palace's main door. Be a dear and throw her off our trail. Then meet me at the Light Spring. I'll see you there. I don't know if we can tell her where to go to. Do we just send the Jedi and the Sith right at each other and not care? That'll be interesting, okay. Oh, she doesn't have a companion. We had a companion. Oh, well, that, that, uh, I was trying to help, but I guess they didn't need to at all. They wouldn't surrender. Why don't they ever surrender? Let's get some fresh air and talk about your feelings. That's <laughs> unnecessary. Although I'm used to conflict, it still affects me. I'm disappointed to see you in this place after our last conversation. I thought you'd learn to stop associating with criminals. Why are you here? Everyone's there is after something the local crime lord has. A red box. Thank you for confiding in me. Whatever Zare wants, she mustn't be allowed to get it. If you know anything about the Sith's current whereabouts, please tell me. Zare is headed for the desert, to an underground well called the Light Spring. You did the right thing informing me of this. Stay here. When I confront Zare, it will be a horrific battle. You won't want to be around. May the Force be with us both. Farewell. Uh, no, we're definitely gonna go. Uh, let's see, new shirt. Ooh, actually, I kinda like that. Oh, that actually looks really neat. I like that, that's cool, okay. So let's head to this light spring. Don't come. I'm definitely going to. Like, I'm, I'm going to go to the light spring. Can't tell me otherwise. Do, do, do. Like, I would listen. Come on. Come on. I want, to, I want to see this battle. I want to see what happens. I'm actually, this, this right here is awesome. This is what I wanted to see. You, us playing 
two sides, putting them against each other, because maybe, you know, we don't have to. We could have lied to both of them. But uh, now we get to watch some fireworks. And uh, maybe the winner... It, see, a, a situation like this would be kind of fun, where, like, maybe the winner or, or the loser would become, like, our companion or something like that. That'd be kind of interesting. I don't think that's going to happen, but it would be kind of fun. Let's see oh, where we had to do. Uh, okay, top in the middle here. So I'll just keep following this path. But see, yeah, that would have been that. I mean, again, maybe it will. But that would be cool. Alright, where are we headed to here? Militia scouts? Okay. Oh, that's not where I'm supposed to be. That's okay, though. Well, always get hung up on something. Alright, you are a scout droid. I need to fight you guys at all. There's a dead crate dragon. And... Oh, I do gotta fight this scout droid. Oh, and then this guy tried. Okay, Bodar, we got this. Bodar, where are you going? <laughs> oh, dealing with the other one. Ah, see, I see. Smart, 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 smart. Got one down. Oh, we get a bonus objective to destroy eight of them. Probably go inside and try to destroy more. six when we get inside if there's six hopefully they are oh we're about to level up again too oh we're actually really close to leveling up yeah there's some more in here. okay oh even some cover that's good to see i wonder if the astromechic for can is fast right There we go. Yeah, the astrometric droid does count, so I just need to take out three more droids. There we go. This'll do her. And this will definitely level us up, which means we get to make a choice after this. Ah, there we go. Level 23. We got ourselves a new ability. Countermeasures. Activate countermeasures. Instantly lower uh, threat by a moderate amount. Okay, we get to lower our threat. And then let's see if I go to whoop, here. Combat style. So I get zeroing shot. So sniper... Or snipe zeroes in your sights, reducing the activation time for your next ambush. Ooh! So if I snipe, my next ambush is quicker. Okay, and I also get to learn uh, sharp shot ambush deals splash damage uh to nearby targets and slows them for 60 or 30 percent for 60 seconds okay our relentless ambush uh the energy cost of ambush is reduced by five each use of ambush grants relentless ambush lowering the cooldown of your next ambush by a one and a half seconds or targeted ambush increases the critical hit damage of ambush by 20 percent killing the target with an ambush critical hit resets the cooldown of lays target and ambush that's what the one i want Whoa. Here. Then the lace target and then ambush. Uh. 
There we go. And there we go. We get uh, ambush is already set up. That is awesome. Okay. Let me double check I read that correctly. So this gives me um, any time uh, reducing the activation of your ambush. Okay. Stacks up the two times. So I can get my... I can have snipe twice, which gives me zeroing shots, which makes this it's energy range activation cooldown is 12 seconds so i can lower the cooldown by half a second i guess um which isn't isn't a lot but it's something and then yeah target animation critical chance critical hit damage which is awesome uh, critical hit chance so I, this increased my critical hit chance by 100 percent, and this increases my critical hit damage by 20 percent. so that's really nice um, uh, killing a target with an ambush critical hit resets the cooldown and lays target of lays target and ambush. So essentially, I could just like, if you're looking at lower enemies, you can essentially just automatically like lays target ambush, lays target ambush, lays target ambush. Uh, that could be good. Lays target. I don't think I can kill it in one hit. So let's try. I can. There we go. And then if I snipe... Okay. Where's that? There we go. And then there we go. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, that's fun. What are we going to do here? Up here, it looks like. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh! The Jedi and the Sith are already here. What's what's going on? Perfect solitude for a year. Now, four interruptions in a day. Frustrating. I didn't lead the Jedi or the Sith here, boss. I don't know how they found you. Sorry. I've been a real chatterbox lately. Are you insane? Why would you lead them here? Why do I get the feeling you're playing us against each other? Can't believe you'd jeopardize your reward from me. Reward? What's she talking about? Consider Zare a gift, gorgeous. Anything you want, I can deliver. You have no idea the danger you've put yourself in. Empty chatter. Like fingernails on transparent steel. I will silence. Who is that? Captain, haven't heard from you in a while. Everything all right? I've got a Jedi and a Sith fighting over me, but I only have eyes for you. Nothing you say makes any sense. <laughs> Poor Meryl. She's never been kissed. Such a professional. Who could resist? Oh, beautiful girl. So beautiful. Wait, is that him? You're with Diago? I want to see her again. Now! Stop pushing me. I'm not your droid. It wasn't a request. You bring her to me, or I take her from you. Diago, dear, I can offer you so much more. Just as soon as we rid ourselves of this Jedi. Afraid to fight me alone, Sith? Silence! The only voice here should be mine. Diago, you're every bit the monster Vavaron Zare is. You will both pay. You want to kill the Jedi. You want to drop your weapons. <laughs> Stop waving your hands like that. You both look ridiculous. Strong-minded, hmm? You're no use to me. <laughs> Forgive me, dear Diago. But I really must kill these two before we continue. No more! I find a beautiful girl myself! Droids! Kill everyone! But I didn't do anything! Everyone! <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, 
I guess we did pick sides. She's healing quite a bit. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, I need to I need to pay attention to what's going on. Um and actually because they're still fighting, maybe Yeah, okay, they're still fighting. That's good. Uh, you know what? Let's try to take him out first, then maybe. Ooh, I need to. Oh, I don't think I can. Let us get a Nick. Oh, no. Call it an orbital strike. Okay, she's down. Get. Far away for that. I didn't really want to kill her, but okay. Uh, so this is how it turned out. Nothing I can do about it now. There we go, we win. You betrayed Zare and helped me defeat her. Why? Zare had flash and sizzle, but you're a natural beauty. You must learn to look beyond appearances. I see now why Zare thought this box was worth killing over. Thank the force we stopped her. This is a Sith holocron. It was created centuries ago by a powerful Dark Lord called Darth Nihilus. You're not going to go all Sithy just by holding it, are you? It doesn't quite work like that, but your concern is duly noted. I'll ensure this relic remains safely hidden from Zare's allies. The Empire must never access the terrible secrets contained here. My ship is waiting nearby. I should go. We've saved countless lives today. You can't leave Tatooine without giving me a goodbye kiss. All this time, you've wanted a display of physical affection? I don't know what to say. Perhaps, if I were not a Jedi. Goodbye. May the Force protect you. Oh, I was kind of hoping one of them would stick around. Alright. Uh, oh, there's a crate over here. Oh, that must be the sensor computer we need. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. What's it? Oh, I guess that's the whole... All these flashing green things are blue. Not Drayen. That's all I hear. What was it like to fight not Drayen? Uh, the next time some fool asks me that, I'll bury this hollow recording in his forehead and play it back for the survivors. Not Drayen was never a true gangster. Not like me. He just pretended. People think I fought him because he was more successful. Because he made me number two. Because he stole my wife. Lies! I fought him because he was no more a gangster than I am a senator. Nock was a con artist. The whole underworld was his mark. He was using us for something. Don't know what. But I do know he never gave a damn about being king of the underworld. He was all just a game. At least that pile of filth is finally dead. I raided his storehouse just to be sure he never came. I'm still alive, and he's not. 
I won. You hear that knock? I won. All right. That's a thing. Okay, let's return to Rishi. So let's return to our ship here. Uh, open galaxy map. I'm just going to purchase the... It's not... Uh, I guess I can afford it that way. But it's only like 240, so let's purchase that. Yes, let's just return to our ship. Back to the ship. See how that goes. Welcome back, Master. If you detect the aroma of Alderanian nectar, I program the air circulator... Glad to be back. Don't worry. Okay. I keep talking in the wrong corner there. There we go. This is the one I want. There we go. And three sheets up here. Wasn't sure I'd see you alive again, much less with that sensor computer. How did you get it? Tiago Hickson passed away unexpectedly. Left me a generous inheritance. He's dead? Good. I mean, for your reputation. Sorry I didn't get a chance to chat with him before he died. My hollow malfunctioned. That blob of a gangster took a real interest in you. I'm sure he reacts like that to all the beautiful girls. With that sensor computer installed, this freighter will be a first-rate scout vessel. I'll patch it into the ship's rectenna before takeoff. You should notice a difference right away. What exactly will that gizmo do for us? Let's just say people will have a hard time sneaking up on us in space. Let's leave this sandball in our rear thrusters, Captain. Nakdrayan's fortune is out there waiting for us. Oh, wow. We're already done with Tatooine. All right. Tatooine completed. We get ourselves a new gun. More of this. And, uh, except that. And, uh, definitely, definitely going to be doing some leveling up. Only in level 23 and Alderaan is level 28. Well, I guess there's only five levels. Same kind of the thing as Tatooine. But either way. Definitely going to be needing to do some leveling up between stuff here. Let's equip that. I uh, got a lot of items I need to sell, but we're going to be saving that for next episode. So again, thank you guys so much for joining me today on this grand uh, adventure. Uh, we got to hang out on Tatooine. Tatooine seems it's such a huge planet, but the actual like story mission you're there for, it's really short, it feels like. Kind of from a lot of the planets. If you're just kind of going through the story, uh, it doesn't take uh, that long. Again, as a, I'm currently playing as a preferred, which is kind of what I wanted to do with this um, series. Kind of see how that how that works, uh, how how you play as a preferred, how leveling up works, how everything goes. Uh, it's 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 I've noticed it's pretty restricted, uh, so I might end up going ba back to being subscriber uh, pretty soon. But uh, yeah, the fact that like I can't change my combat proficiency. Uh, I don't get uh, as much of an experience boost and stuff like that. I think that's probably why I'm a little bit under leveled. But yeah, between this, uh, between this and the next episode, I'll go and do some leveling up. Maybe I'll run some flashpoints, all that fun stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching uh, this episode. If you guys like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys don't like what you see, you can hit the dislike button too. But please let me know down below if you're disliking. But hopefully everyone's enjoying everything. And as always, until next time, keep your stick on the ice.